Liz in Northampton. I watched this in South Africa in the 90s. <coughs> Excuse me. OK, but that doesn't mean it's South African. No, no. Potentially a made-for-television film. OK, and I'm just... I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm putting the chair back here because I'm just... Not, it's an American not in Paris. Playing. She's a photographer... It's an American in Paris. It's American in Paris. I've seen American in Paris. It's huge. She's a photographer and witnesses a crime. She gets a bang on the head and falls in the Seine. Eyes of Laura Mars. No. But no. She's given a load of antibiotics because the River Seine is gross. This made a huge impression on me at the time. The French detective, on her case... Uh, puts her up at his home, I bet he does, while, he, <laughs> while she tries to regain a memory of her attacker. Eventually, he makes her draw uh, and remembers the guy has a ponytail. She's some kind of expert at playing a bar game where she turns her back and can name all the booze, something like that. Anyway, spoiler alert, the cop has her removed from her plane at the end because nothing says love like deportation, says Liz in Northampton. So if you've got any idea what that movie might be, if it, if it is made for... It might even have been made for South African television, in which case we have no chance. But she didn't say it was a South African film. She said nope. she saw it in South Africa. Yep. Did, did she say which genre it is? Because I couldn't quite tell from that description. No, it could be, it could be a comedy. Yeah, it sounded, sounded rom com didn't it? Mm. Anyway, if, if that rings any bells... Any ants in it? 8505, none as far as I no know. No ants. Mayo at BBC.com. No ants, OK. okay.